You are trying to solve an absolute value inequality, and the first step is to isolate the absolute value. So I'm going to subtract one from both sides. Now, since this is a less than, um, we need anything in the absolute value bar to take on the value anything in between 11 and negative 11. Because like if this was negative eight, that expression inside, I'm just making that up if it was negative eight, but once you took the absolute value of it, it would be less than 11. So the moral of the story is whenever you have an absolute value less than, you always form a compound inequality that looks like that. And now let's just get X in the middle. So let's subtract nine from both sides. And that would be two X is less than two is less than negative 20. And now divide everything by two. And that's X is less than one is less than negative 10. So your X value takes on all values in between a negative 10 and a one. That would look like this on the number line.